to face to face. Today it's a very special uh, show. Uh, we are outside of the usual studio, and I'm with Denis to speak about the, the non uh, nonviolence march in New York City on April 8th. So, Denis, welcome. Thank you. And you came up with the idea, so you need to <laughs> to, to tell us a little bit more about about the march, about what we start and, and why, and then um, the, whole, the whole plan. Okay, so uh, first of all, it's a walk, not a march. Oh, yeah, that's true, it's a walk. Uh, we're calling it the New York City Walk for Nonviolence. Uh -huh. um, and the impetus came, first of all, because April 4th is the 50th anniversary of the assassination of Martin Luther King. Luther King. We figured it's a very important milestone, and we wanted to do something to sort of mark the occasion. Um, and the idea of doing something that would celebrate not only King's work, but also the many people who influenced him and the many people who were influenced by him would also be appropriate. So we felt it was really a very um, significant way to honor the occasion was to do something that was publicly coming out uh, in favor of nonviolence and really pushing forward. The and then putting people to that process. And the idea is that, that as many people as possible. That's why I wanted to do something public. That's why we want to do something through the streets of Manhattan, that it's not only those who are physically doing the walk, uh -huh. but hopefully as we go walking through the streets, they will be seen by thousands of people. So the walk is going to be go actually going through place, place to place, yes. where the specific meaning in Manhattan so we, we've identified about 12 locations okay. in Manhattan that okay. have some kind of historical uh, significance in relation to nonviolence. Mm -hmm. So we're going to be starting in Battery Park, um, really sort of looking out at the Statue of Liberty. And the mm -hmm. idea there is to talk a little bit about the violence against immigrants that's going on right now in this country. Um, and, and the Statue of Liberty being obviously the symbol of quite the opposite of that. Of, I will of come, I, I will come, I will come everybody. Acceptance yeah. of people, tolerance mm -hmm. of people. Um, and we're going to be ending at Riverside Church, which is where King gave his uh, very famous Beyond Vietnam speech, which yeah. was exactly a year before he died, yeah. where he publicly came out linking um, the, the civil rights movement with the anti-Vietnam War movement and the sort of anti-poverty movement. So. It was the first time he publicly sort of said Combined. all three of those things are a part of the same problem. Yeah. And you can't really look or deal with them sort of separately. And he was attacked for that. He was attacked um, not only by the public at large, but yeah. he was attacked by, Even by his within the civil yeah. rights movement mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. they mm -hmm. felt like it was going to detract mm -hmm. from, um, from the message mm -hmm. and the victories that were mm -hmm. being gained in the civil rights movement. Mm -hmm. And his point of view, of course, was that you can't, you can't separate them, and when you do, you're actually weakening each one and mm -hmm. bringing them together. It's really helping people to understand the root of the problem. Yeah. Larger than the physical violence will go beyond, and then including economical violence, exactly. racial violence, exactly. religious violence. Exactly. And so that, talking about the anti-war, the civil rights, the poverty, he was really talking about exactly he was linking together racial violence and physical violence and economic violence and really saying that violence is violence and mm -hmm. you cannot choose which violence you're against. It doesn't work that way. Mm -hmm. And so you're going to, what, you have like a couple of places we're going to go through? I mean, how does this... Um... So we have some places and the idea is that at each point we'll stop. It's a, it's a 12 mile walk, which is, you know, it's a commitment for people. It's, it's a long walk. <laughs> but to sort of break it up, we'll okay. have these different points along the way that we'll be stopping. So mm -hmm. we'll be stopping, for example, at Zuccotti Park and doing something to oh, recognize the, the work of the occupant. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We'll be starting stopping at Union Square in front of the Gandhi statue oh, and cool. using that as an opportunity. Mm -hmm. um, we want to recognize groups of people like the Quakers who will mm -hmm. be stopping at of the course. Quaker Meeting Quaker House Commission. because the Quakers for 350 years in this city have been really supporting yeah. in many different ways yeah. the, the theme of nonviolence. Um, but we're also trying to use it as a way to expand people's understanding of what violence mm -hmm, is and therefore mm -hmm. what nonviolence Mm -hmm. So we're going to be stopping at a place called the, the Clinical Research Bureau, which mm -hmm. is where Margaret Sanger founded the first legal um, sexual reproductive rights clinic, wow. um, which was, you know, so for us, the idea of women having the right to sort mm -hmm. of choose, and having the right to that kind of care mm -hmm. is an important form of sort of nonviolence. Yeah, yeah. Um, we'll be honoring people like Bayard Ruskin, CeeLo, uh, um, Paul, um, Paul Robeson, Eleanor Roosevelt. Uh, Dorothy Day. So people who have been either New York City based people or who did their work in New York City or people who 
um, we feel are sort of very Central important city. figures and had some connection to the city. We're yeah. here at some point, did something of the point, and we're going to sort of use that these different stops as a way to maybe read a little bit from something they've written, maybe do a little ceremony, maybe sing a song, just to do something to sort of honor and recognize the work that these people are important. Now, I think people, everyone is so affected by the violence that goes on. I mean, yeah. I was looking at the newspaper for just a short while ago today, and it's like every day there's some kind of news story about a shooting or people doing violent acts against each other. And I think people are feeling the weight of it. So the idea is this is a fun, uh, public, but also very active way to do something that expresses something different, mm -hmm. that goes in another direction. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's very important in these times that people uh, not only denounce what they don't like and denounce what's wrong, but also start talking about things that have worked, things that for them are very important, and that we also start putting attention to how do we start to move out of this mess that we're in right mm -hmm, now. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is April 8th. April 8th, which happens to be Buddha's birthday, by the oh, way. Right, it's also right. appropriate. Yeah, okay, and so the idea is to start in the morning. We're going to be starting at 9.30, so we're going to be starting um, on the... The waterfront um, in the north part of Battery Park okay. at 9.30, where there's a, 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 a naval observancy sort of monument there. Mm -hmm. not, we didn't choose it because of the naval observancy monument, but as you said, it looks right out at this. Uh, so that's where we'll start out at 9.30, um, and then we'll go winding our way through the streets. So anyone who's interested, uh, we do have a Facebook page, okay. which is the NYC Walk for Nonviolence. Okay. Um, if you look on there, um, you will can get a link to the map, which will show not only the route, but also the different points we're going to be stopping and what's the significance of each. Great. All right. So, um, register, work, uh, call your friends, invite your, uh, uh, your co-workers, families, and, uh, and, and discover the city. Uh, in very different way. Yeah, uh, and I have to say, if, if people are not interested in doing the full walk, it's fine. Let us know you're interested in participating, and we're going to be posting on on Facebook where we are at different times during the day. So I people can, can, people sort of can even cheat. They can cheat, and not so cheating, but it's not to say you have less of a commitment exactly. to nonviolence, but there are people with physical limitations. No, I know. Yeah, oh, yeah. Um, yeah so, so we have um, people who are going to be joining us. Okay, to be fun, be fun like you have to do the full 12-mile walk, but if you want to come for one of these stops we're doing, or you want to come and walk for a mile or two miles, uh, please feel free to reach out and we'll make sure that we can include you. Thank you very much, Denise, for coming. Thank you. I appreciate it.